Hi guys, it's Carolyn. I'm the product manager at Betty's Toy Box and I have a really fun video for you today because we're going to talk all about dildos. I'm going to go through some different sizes. We're going to take a look at um, how to pick the right size and the right shape for your body because that is one of the most common questions that we get asked here. And it's also one of the most common mistakes that our customers make. They end up buying dildos that are just too big and they can't use them. So the most important information I'm going to give you today is the average erection is 5.16 inches long. Okay, it's 1.5 inches wide. The majority of realistic dildos are bigger than that. So every single dildo that we sell has the length and the width listed on its page. Make sure you take a look. And now I'm going to show you what some of those lengths and widths actually look like. So. I'm going to start with one of the lower range dildos. This is a beautiful dildo called Allen. It's by Tantus and it's uh, not super long. You can see it doesn't have the testicles on it. So you've got a lot of insertable length. Now, what is insertable length? That is literally the amount that you can insert into your body. So you might have a seven inch dildo with a 6.5 inch insertable length. The rest of it is taken up by a base or testicles or something that can't actually physically go in your body. So this little beauty is 6.5 inches long, 1.5 inches wide. So it's an average width with a slightly bigger than average length, which makes it absolutely wonderful for a starter dildo. It's also silicone, so it's a great body safe material that's easily washable, okay? Now, we're gonna go up. Not so much in length, because this next dildo is actually shorter in length in the amount that can go inside your body. It's only got 5.2 inches that can go inside your body. This is the Real Feel Deluxe number Two, okay, it is a um, 6.5 inch dildo with 5.2 inches that can go inside you. It has a much wider width though. It's two inches across as opposed to 1.5. So shorter in the amount you can put in your body, bigger around. A little more of a challenge if that's what you're up for. The Real Feel Deluxe line comes in a huge range of, of sizes and shapes. And they all look very similar, so do make sure with these that, that you read the page and you know what you're getting. We're going to take another jump, okay? This one is beautiful. This is called the Lone Star, and it's by Vixen, who make wonderful silicone dildos. You can see it's really realistic looking, okay? It's a 7-inch dildo with 6 inches insertable length. All right, it is 1.8 around. So if you go back to something like the Allen, they look very different from one another, don't they? Right? But this actually has more insertable length than this one, but one is wider than the other. So there you go. Um, this is what you're dealing with when you're looking at different styles of dildos. It's easy to misinterpret what the actual size is like. Now, we're going to take another jump. This one's really beautiful too. This is by Tantus, just like the Allen that we first started out with. Okay, you can see the kind of similarity in manufacturing. This is an uncut style dildo, so it's got the ridging to make it look uncut. Uh, the foreskin doesn't retract, it's just the, the edging on it to make it look like an uncut. Now, the thing that I really like about this one, it's quite long. It's got 7.45 inches of insertable length. So it's actually the biggest dildo that we've looked at so far in terms of insertable length, but at 1.75 across. So because it's not as wide across, it's actually a little bit more manageable than something like this one, which is shorter, but two inches. So if you think that width is gonna be an issue for you, you might wanna go for something like this that's long, longer, but slimmer, right? It might be a little bit easier for you to actually work with. Now, we're gonna take another jump. We're gonna look at something that's not just long, but it's also thicker. Um, this is from the King Cock line. It's a dual density, nine inch dildo. Again, nine inches, meaning nine complete inches. 
Usually when you see a measurement in the title of a dildo, it's referring to the entire thing. Look inside the page and it'll give you the description of what the insertable length is. In, in the case of this one, it's 7.1 inches. So it's actually got less insertable length than this one, but you can see it's a lot fatter and it gets bigger as you go down. So it's about 1.8 inches across. I think it's actually probably bigger than that. I think it's probably closer to two across at the bottom, maybe 1.8 at the top. So take that into consideration. You see it's a much fatter dildo. Now, as far as sizing goes, um, a nine inch dildo is getting up into what we would consider large dildo territory. Remember, the average erection, 5.16 inches. So you're dealing with two full inches more of insertable length and almost half an inch more in, in width. That's quite a lot. If you're not used to something like that, you might want to stay under nine inches or get something that is slimmer. If you want a challenge, this is a nice challenge without being too, too extreme. Now, I'm going to show you one of our more extreme dildos. That's what I'm going to finish with. This is quite impressive. This is an 11 inch dildo. It's the length of my arm, okay? Uh, 11 inch, this is the Real Field Deluxe line again. It's got the suction cup and it, this one actually vibrates. Um, it has 9.5 inches of insertable length. That's, remember, 5.16, right? That's four inches um, extra in length. And the width of this one is 2.5 inches. I mean, I can't even get my hand around this and I don't have small hands. So when you're thinking of getting a dildo and you're thinking that you might like the challenge of something larger, keep in mind, this is only 11 inches. We do sell 12s, we sell 13s. I think the largest we have might be 13 and a half. So you're adding even more on top of this. This is quite challenging. It's for a very experienced um, user who's kind of spent a lot of time working their way up to something like this. Now, this one is actually the same as, if you remember, this one from the beginning. So you can really see. And, you know, this is considered a wide dildo at two inches. Let's go back and take a look at the Allen that we started with. Okay. Now, remember, this is bigger than an average erection. So that is something to really keep in mind. And, and this is why I wanted to do the video. When you take products like this and you hold them side by side, it gives you a really good indication of what you're dealing with in terms of size and shape and what you think you might be able to handle. So if you have any other questions, we actually, um, you can email us and we have a live chat on the site. If you've never used it, you can get a hold of one of us and you can ask us questions. We've heard it all before. We know all of the products and we can really help you get something that's going to work really well for you. We always want to hear from you. And if you've had a product that you really love or something that you feel is lacking, again, shoot us an email, let us know put a review on one of the products so that we know what's working for you guys and what's not. So I hope this was informative um, and that, you know, you're going to have a little easier time now when you're shopping for your dildos and give us a shout if you need any help. Happy shopping.